Okay, so this is the mile to marathon approved warm-up routine for a workout or even for a race. And we start with some uh, mobility drills and exercises. This is the A march, or if you're more experienced, the A skip. And we're focused on being light on our feet here, staying tall, staying engaged through the core, and looking ahead. Then we move on to the B march, or the B skip. The addition here is the little kick out, and what I like to say is the paw back um, with the foot after the kick out. So it's a bit more dynamic than the A. And in between, um, we like to do what we call swoops, where we're taking a few steps forward, planting our heel, and swooping through with our arms. This is a good stretch for your hamstrings. And we do those between our B uh, exercises. So this is the B skip. A bit more dynamic. And this takes some time to work up to. And then again, we have the swoop in between these exercises to give, give the hamstrings uh, a bit of a stretch. So this warm-up, whole warm-up routine shouldn't take more uh, than a few minutes, maybe five minutes altogether. Uh, five to ten minutes, and it's going to uh, yeah help you get warmed up. Here we got Robbie doing our next exercise, side jumping jacks, um, in both directions. We're warming up our ankles here, our feet, and just kind of getting the body moving. Next is the karaoke. This one's good for opening up our hips. Again, working on our ankles and our feet. Both directions. When you come across with the leg. It you try to get it over the opposite knee, is the goal. And then our next exercise is our butt kicks. Here we're trying to keep the knees from drifting too far in front and really trying to work that hamstring contraction to kick our butt. Then we finish it off with some strides, usually 15 to 20 second strides, opening up our pace, accelerating with each one.